Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of a 6x6 mini album that I created using a tutorial from Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking along with a paper collection from Close to My Heart called As You Grow. So the As You Grow collection is actually an older collection. I think it's from 2021 so it's a few years old I'm not sure if it's still available but it's a really sweet baby themed one and this is literally all I have left over some of the picture of my life cards a few scraps of the paper and some cardstock that is all I have left which I was extremely happy about and really proud to use up all this stuff especially since I've been hoarding it for a few years I did leave the stickers on the sticker sheet I plan on giving it to the recipient that way she can add these stickers wherever she sees fit throughout the album so like I said before this is a six by six album it does have a three inch spine so it is nice and big and chunky it is the hinge method so there's four main pages with interactive pages I did add a ribbon closure to it, and that ribbon closure definitely has some room to grow. This ribbon is also from Close to My Heart. It's from an older collection, but it really was pretty and matched with this one. On the first page, you can see there's this little spot right here where they can add the baby's name and the date of birth, along with a photo mat. For all of the photo mats, I did use 110 pound cardstock. And then I rounded all of the edges with my crocodile corner chomper and I used the scallop end. This page right here is really fun. It's all, this one's magnetic. Quite a few of them are magnetic closures as well. I just bought really inexpensive magnets offline. And then this one opens this way or it opens up this way or it completely opens out like this. So it's a really fun interactive piece right when you open up the page and you can even fit one two three four five six seven even eight photos right when you first open this each page so main page so the four sections they all have a little hidden pocket so each of them have a card I left all of them blank on one side and on the other side I just used one of the picture my life cards that I mounted to that 110 pound cardstock and then they fit right in the top like that. That can be a spot for journaling or extra photos. These two pages are also magnetic, so it opens this way and this way. There are quite a few of these photo mats that I added in there. They're all in tuck spots. The ones that are three by four can go either horizontal or vertical, really depends on how the photos are taken. This one opens up this way and this way as well. And the photo mats, I just made three by four and four by four just to keep it simple. This is another one of those journaling cards. It is out the side pocket because this one had a almost belly band in it. Here's another one of those journaling cards or picture my life cards. And on the back, it is blank. That one was really pretty. It just tucks right back into the top. When you flip it over, this page is just a little side pocket. I did mount one of the Picture My Life cards on some cardstock and put that right there. Here's one of the larger ones, just because this pocket was so high. This one, you could easily fit some memorabilia in it and you don't have to worry about it falling out. Here is the other card that's on the other side. So this one has some really good spots for journaling. This one's almost like a waterfall effect and I ended up not using the magnetic closure because it kind of just shuts on itself. This one, I decided to add one of the little journaling cards in a little side pocket. Over here behind this cute little fox is actually a photo mat as well. It just kind of tucks right behind there. Same thing, it can go horizontal or vertical. This one goes down and opens with a little pocket down here. I didn't mount this one just because there is some journaling spot on the back. There's a magnet behind this element and it just kind of gets hidden and shuts like that. And then this side is very similar but it opens the opposite way. So the pocket's on the front page and then opens up. And then right here is a cute little tuck spot. And again, they can either 
tuck it behind here. They could glue it directly to the page. They could add journaling. They could add photos. They could add photos on both sides, journaling on both sides. It really depends on how they want to create with this album. Then the last page, I wanted to make it similar to the beginning. So I added the same paper, but I changed the orientation of the pocket. On this one, I did add stickers from the collection and then I added some shimmer brush to it as well, just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And then same thing, a four by four photo mat on the back. So this is my walkthrough of this collection. I was so excited to use almost the entire collection to create this mini album. The chipboard I used was medium weight. The cardstock I used to wrap everything was 110 pound. You could easily use the 65 pound cardstock, but I was just using what I had on hand. Most of these elements are from close to my heart. I think all the paper. I'm not sure if this part is, but these are from an older Easter collection. And it was just a great way to use up an entire collection and use up some things that, um, you know, frankly, I had just been hoarding for a while. Plus, this is going to make a great gift for my friend who had a baby a couple months ago. So she'll be able to fill, fill this with photos and memories. And since I didn't use the sticker sheets, she'll be able to put them wherever she sees fit. So it's almost like she gets to be a part of creating the little album as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I will link the tutorial that I followed below. Rosa Kelly has tons of tutorials of mini albums. She's like the mini album queen. So I just followed her tutorial and created it. I did do it in a couple of stages. I made the base first, then I mounted everything, and then I decorated it. So it was a three-day process, but not three full days, just more or less three sittings, and it was complete. So I'm really excited to give it to my friend. I know she's going to enjoy it. I really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the 6x6 mini album using the As You Grow collection from Close to My Heart. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next time and happy crafting.